tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Mother is free. <laughs> That's right. She's free. Mommy loves her babies. You know she does. Yes, she does. Salute and welcome to class, guys. Hit that like button on the way in. That's how you pay your school tuition. Keep in mind that we don't cater to any groups, gangs, communities, religions, feelings, or emotions. We cater to the truth. We cater to common sense. And we do not complicate that, guys. All right, so we got a crazy one today, guys. This is really how modern women feel. You know what I mean? I'm going to call them modern women. I, I should be calling them mothers. But at the end of the day, they still woman. And at the end of the day, a modern woman is still Lilith. Lilith wanted to be independent from the jump. Lilith did not want to be tied down with family. She did not want to be barefoot and pregnant. You know what I mean, guys? You got to understand what we dealing with nowadays. So these women run around here and they have the baby, but they didn't have the baby for family. They had the baby for feel good reasons, to, for emotional reasons, for trauma reasons, guys. So without any further ado, let's get back into the lady that was in the intro and let's hear what she got to say about being an empty nester, guys. That means she don't have no more kids in the house. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Mother is free. <laughs> That's right. She's right. Mommy loves her babies. You know she does. Yes, she does. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Mama's going to rock this freedom. Hello. <laughs> Woo. Child. Mm. International. Child, I know what I'm about to do. And we pretty much know what you're about to do, too. You know what I mean? From the streets, back to the streets. <laughs> and that's how that go. But on the real, guys, let's dig, let's dig deep into this. Let's dig deep behind the psychological reasons to why all of these modern women who did not read the basic instructions and went out there and busted open, why they so, so anxious and can't wait to get back free and can't wait to get back in them streets. All right, guys, let's check it out. Let's, let's go with my girl, Alux. Balance your present with your future. Life is a continuous trade between going YOLO and sacrificing the moment for future gain. But be careful. If you continuously trade the present for the future, at some point you run out of future because time is run out on you. We have a friend that's been sacrificing his 20s and early 30s with the sole goal of being financially free in his late 40s. It's not a terrible deal. Most people get to retire at 65, so getting it done almost 15 years earlier is definitely a good thing, but life changes with time. Some doors are closing forever as you pass them. Going on a cruise when you're 55 surrounded by 65-year-olds isn't as great as a memory of going with all your friends to Southeast Asia in your late 20s. The same way dating in your 50s is completely different than dating in your 20s and 30s. Your parents were busy trying to survive raising you and had no opportunity to learn this type of info, not to mention to teach it to you in time to be useful. This is also why most parents find it so difficult to get back into being individuals after their children grow up and move away. They've been parents for so long, they forgot how to be a couple, how to be friends, and how to enjoy life for themselves. Maintain this balance, Aluxers. Enjoy the present, but use some of it to make sure tomorrow is better than today. Okay then, so when I ask you who taught you how to be stupid, don't get offended. I'm not attacking you and I'm not bashing your mother. You see, Alux just broke down exactly why it's just the dumb and the blind leading the blind out here. All this misinformation. She also broke down why these 40 year olds entering their 50 year olds have a hard time sitting down because they busted open early in their years. They, they barred themselves down with responsibilities because they weren't taught not to do so. 
You know what I mean? So they bought themselves down during the years where they were supposed to be free and doing all of this stuff that they doing now at 40 and 50 years old. Because when they were 20 and 16 and 17, they decided to have babies. You know what I mean? For government assistance. Yeah. All right, guys. But y'all wrap up, strap up, drink responsibly. Do not play with your life. And stay away from these loose chicks right here. Because she out there looking. She going to be out in the prowl, head hunting. Predator style, too. Looking for the young, young guns. All right, guys.